The Shorewood Kiwanis and the VFW Bruce Post remembered Pearl Harbor and honored the veterans of World War II at a breakfast Tuesday at Steve's Back Room. Although it was a day of great tragedy, it was also a day that served to reignite our national pride and our great national spirit. We recall the events of December 7, 1921, but more importantly, we remember the thousands of soldiers, sailors, Marines, and airmen who died during that terrible ambush and in the years that followed. For 70 years, the lessons learned from the attack on Pearl Harbor kept our nation safe and secure. But we learned on September 11, 2001, that we must never let our guard down. That because we enjoy an abundance of freedom, we are not exempt from danger. Today is a special day because uh, hopefully we haven't forgotten all the sacrifices that were made by the men and women in World War II. We were victorious, which is the main thing. And, uh, Hopefully, it will not have been in vain for those who gave their lives. Well, Kiwanis and the VFW worked together to recognize the greatest generation, our World War II veterans. And it was a day I'll never forget. And the guys that I trained with, I'll never forget them. Although we didn't all make it. Two $750 donations from the VFW and Shorewood Kiwanis were also presented to Honor Flight Michigan to build a World War II memorial in Royal Oak. While the breakfast honored the half dozen World War II vets in attendance, there was also a somber tone to the event to remember those who gave their lives at Pearl Harbor and throughout the war.